for a tutorial on how to classify triangles. There are two ways to classify triangles. The first way is to classify them by their side lengths. There are three different ways to classify triangles by their side lengths. The first way is if you have a triangle that has three congruent side lengths. It's called an equilateral triangle, and you can see that in the first example here, furthest triangle to the left. You'll notice that this side, this side, and this leg of the triangle are all congruent, and that's established by the three congruent tick marks. The second type of triangle that you can classify by side lengths is the isosceles triangle. And the isosceles triangle is any triangle that has two legs that are congruent. So in that case, this leg and this leg, as denoted by the two red congruent tick marks. The last type of triangle that you can classify by side lengths is a scalene triangle. And with a scalene triangle, none of the lengths of that triangle are congruent. As you can see here on the scalene triangle, there are no congruent tick marks anywhere, meaning that none of these legs are actually the same length. Those are the three ways that you can classify a triangle by its side lengths. Now, the other way to classify triangles is by their angle measures. Here we've shown four different triangles, and we're going to classify each one of them by their angle measures. So, the first triangle on the top left is a right triangle. And we call it a right triangle because it has a right angle. So let's write right triangle here. Like we said, it has a right angle, which is an angle equal to 90 degrees. And you can see that here denoted by the red box in the corner. The second ty type of triangle we're going to talk about is the triangle to the top right here. This type of triangle has three angles that are congruent and acute. Now, if you are a triangle with three angles that are congruent and acute, you are an equiangular triangle. Notice that it's similar to equilateral in the top left of classifying triangles by side lengths. Equi meaning equal, lateral there meaning sides. Here, equiangular just means equal angles. So equiangular triangle. All right. The bottom triangle on the bottom left is an obtuse triangle. This angle right here, you can tell, is going to be greater than 90 degrees. Any triangle with an angle greater than 90 degrees, as denoted by this arrow, is going to be an obtuse triangle. So let's write obtuse. Obtuse triangle. The last type of triangle we're going to talk about is in the bottom right hand corner. This type of triangle has three angles that are acute but not congruent. That is going to be an acute triangle. You can tell that all of these triangles are less than 90, but none of them are actually going to be congruent to each other. And if they were congruent, it'd be just like the equiangular triangle above. You'd see the little red congruency marks in each of the angles, but they're not congruent. So that is an acute triangle. Acute triangle. All right. That is how you classify triangles. Now, any particular triangle can be a combination of the side length classification and angle classification. For example, you could have an isosceles right triangle. You could have an obtuse scalene triangle if you wanted, or you could even have an acute scalene triangle. They're all possibilities, so when you're naming triangles in the future, remember to name them by their angle measure and then their side lengths.